Novel Treatments for Rheumatoid Arthritis Rheumatoid arthritis, or RA treatment, aims to decrease inflammatory disease activity to a minimum. The goal of treatment is to minimize joint damage, enhance physical function, and improve patient quality of life. Treatment is expected to improve the clinical outcomes of RA by reducing synovitis, therefore decreasing the likelihood of further joint damage. There are three general classes of drugs commonly used in RA therapy. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, corticosteroids, and disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, or DMARDs. Although NSAIDs and corticosteroids are effective at providing symptom relief for patients with RA, only DMARDs have been demonstrated to modify the course of the disease and improve radiologic findings. DMARDs are divided into two categories, biologic and synthetic small molecules. The biologics represent a group of novel therapeutic strategies that are based on recent advances in the understanding of the immunoinflammatory events leading to RA. Tumor necrosis factor alpha, or TNF-alpha, inhibitors were the first of the biological DMARDs to be approved for arthritis treatment. The TNF-alpha inhibitors bind to TNF-alpha in the circulation and synovium, preventing its interaction with surface TNF-alpha receptors. Accordingly, there is a reduction in TNF-alpha activity, minimizing downstream pro-inflammatory effects. T-cell co-stimulatory blocking agents are another type of biologic DMARD. These agents interfere with the interaction between antigen-presenting cells, or APCs, and T-cells. For example, the fusion drug abatacept binds to the CD8086 receptor on the APC surface and prevents delivery of T-cell secondary signals. Thus, T-cell activation is reduced. This blockade interrupts the early stages of the pathogenic cascade of RA. Another form of biological DMARDs are the B-cell depleting agents. In the rheumatic joint, B cells are the precursors to autoantibody producing plasma cells and also act as APCs. By targeting B cell CD20 surface molecules, B cell depleting agents reduce the number of B cells in the synovium. With fewer B cells present, there is a reduction in both T cell activation and plasma cell count. As novel therapies are developed for the treatment of RA, more options will become available to help minimize inflammatory disease activity. With early treatment, the characteristic autoimmune response of RA can be interrupted, paving the way for possible disease remission or resolution.